Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing the new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Now this foundation can be found in 32 different shades. I grabbed the shade Sand to try out today. Now this foundation retails for 56 US dollars and you get 0.84 fluid ounces worth of product. So you don't get the typical one fluid ounce and it does have a hefty price tag. I mean, that's like 60 bucks with tax. It's it's expensive. So it comes in this frosted um, glass bottle with a pump. So very luxury, feels very, very heavy, very sturdy. Now this claims to be a highly concentrated formula that is going to deliver full coverage. So if it's highly concentrated, I'm assuming we're not going to need a lot of product in order to achieve full coverage. Its innovative coated pigments are going to provide us with a smooth, long wearing application that is not going to dry out the skin. It is formulated with light refracting microspheres to blur and create a soft focus complexion. It is supposed to last you up to 24 hours and it also claims to be waterproof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. As far as how to use it, it does give you different options depending on what type of coverage you're looking for. So if you're looking for light coverage to go with a beauty sponge and a little bit of product. If you're looking for higher coverage, then the website does recommend that you use a foundation brush. So that is actually what I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna be using the Luxie Airbrush Foundation. It is a pretty dense brush and I really, really love how it applies liquid foundations. If it does need to to be blended out a little bit more. Let's say I do run into like streaking or anything like that, then I will bring in my 3D HD damp sponge, um, damp blender here. So that is how I'm going to apply it today. So I'm not gonna be using any kind of primer with this foundation. As far as whether or not I'll need to set it, I'll determine that after I've applied it um, and I'll let you all know. Okay, so let's get started. I'm actually gonna skip out on color correcting my under eye area for today. Just you know, sometimes I color correct, sometimes I don't. Today, I'm not going to. So I'm going to take some of this and I'm gonna apply it onto the back of my hand. Now, I did a full pump. That's a full pump right there. Let's see what um, coverage we are able to achieve with just a little bit of foundation. Just gonna apply it onto this side first. I'm not gonna apply anything on to the left side until after I show you all some close-ups. Okay, let's blend this out. All right, so I think that this shade, this particular shade, might be more of my summer shade than it is right now. I feel like it's just a tiny bit too deep for my current complexion. Um, but this might be a really good match during the summer for me when I do pick up a little bit of color. Um, however, I really like the coverage. So I didn't need a whole lot of product and I would consider this absolutely full coverage. I'm not really able to see anything through the foundation as of right now. So it looks good aside from I think the color might be a little bit off for me, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it today. All right, so now I am going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at the before and the after. Okay, so this is my skin without anything on it. And this is the side that has one layer of foundation. As you can see, I'm getting a ton of coverage, really good coverage, and I didn't need a whole lot of product. All right, now we can work on the rest of the face. All right, so I got really good coverage, full coverage, true full coverage, um, and I still have a little bit of the foundation left over. So you definitely don't need a lot of product in order to achieve full coverage with this foundation. As of right now, the foundation still has not set, but I just applied it, so I don't expect it to. We'll see what kind of finish this has. If it doesn't set to like a matte finish, um, then I will absolutely need to set it with a translucent powder. And if I do need to do that, I will let you all know. So now I am simply going to jump off camera really quickly in order to finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. 
Okay, so now I am back with a full face of makeup and I really love the way that this foundation looks. Um, however, I did have to set it because it just wasn't setting to a finish that I felt um, would have worked with my powders on top of it. So I did set it here along the cheek area. I also set it here along my smile lines since I did notice that the foundation was accentuating my um, smile lines here. I set it there as well and I set the forehead a little bit. So I set the foundation with a little bit of translucent powder. Um, once I did that though, everything went on just fine and now it looks great. I like that it feels really lightweight, doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't look heavy in my opinion either, and it is absolutely delivering full coverage. So we'll see how it wears throughout the rest of the day though. It is currently 10.47 in the morning. I do plan on wearing this the entire day um, and I'm probably not going to be able to do a midday check-in today just because we are going to be out and about for pretty much the entire day but you will see me at the end of the night for my final thoughts on this foundation. I may try to film a little bit on my phone while we're out and about just to do a quick check-in if I can, but if not, then you'll just see the final results at the end of the day. So I will see you all back here in a few hours for either my midday check-in or my end of day final thoughts on this new Hourglass foundation. Okay, so now I am back for my final check-in. It is currently 7.29. I wasn't able to get any footage of me out and about because I just like to keep my phone in my purse, especially when it's a family day, which today it was. And so I don't like looking at my phone. I like focusing on the family time. And yeah, so I didn't even think about it to be quite honest. But it did allow me to just wear the foundation as I would wear anything else. So I wasn't really you know, too cautious with um, my son not touching my face. I was carrying him a little bit um, for a little while because we were at a museum and, you know, kids get tired. And so I was carrying him for a little while. He was hugging me and his hands were wrapped around my neck. So we were like cheek to cheek and I wasn't even really thinking about it until I put him down. I figured, oh my gosh, this is really going to put this foundation to the test because he was rubbing my face a lot. So I am pleasantly surprised with the way that this foundation wore. Overall, it still looks really nice. I am a little tiny bit oily here along the T-zone, even though I did set it with a powder at the beginning of the day. It's not too excessive, it's not too much. I do tend to get a little oily along my T-zone, um, depending on what foundation I'm using. If I'm using a good matte foundation, that'll usually keep the oiliness at bay. But if I'm not using a matte foundation, uh, then sometimes I do get a little tiny bit shiny um, like I did today. Overall though, I feel like, you know, not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at my skin with the foundation after, what is it, almost nine hours? Yes, almost nine hours of wear. Okay, so here is the forehead. And like I said, you can kind of see my lights bouncing back just a little bit, which is how I know that um, the foundation isn't keeping me completely matte. But that's okay because it didn't make me excessively oily either. This is what the left side of my cheek looks like. I was expecting for the foundation to kind of wear off here where um, Sully was really rubbing on my face. But I don't, I don't think that it really has. So it stayed pretty put. And then this is what the right side currently looks like. And as for the um, laugh lines here, I don't feel like the foundation settled into my um, smile lines and I don't feel like it's accentuating them either. All right, so there you have it. That is what the foundation looks like on my skin after about nine hours and honestly, it's not a bad foundation. It's not bad at all. However, I don't know if I can justify the price tag on this one. $56 is pretty steep, and I was really expecting a whole lot more out of this foundation, especially for the price. I know that Hourglass is a luxury brand, so it does have a luxury brand price tag, but 
but you just expect more from high-end products and this one didn't really wow me in any way shape or form you do get a lot of coverage with not a whole lot of product which is definitely a pro um, it is long-lasting even after your four-year-old has been rubbing all over your face so that's absolutely a pro but other than that I mean you know there wasn't anything that really set it apart from any of my other foundations even drugstore foundations that I've tried that have performed really 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 well um, just off the top of my head I can think of a few the Catrice HD foundation I love that liquid foundation it looks beautiful on the face it performs really really well the L'Oreal fresh wear foundation is another go-to of mine it is such a beautiful finish it provides such beautiful coverage without feeling or looking heavy the Maybelline super stay foundation is also such a beautiful foundation there's just so many other ones that you can find at the drugstore at drugstore prices that I feel perform just as well as this $56 one if not perhaps even better overall it's a nice foundation but is it a wow I must have this foundation for me personally no I do I will always splurge on their ambient lighting powders they are so nice especially luminous light that's what I wear all the time and I just love that highlighter so so much I will always spend the money for that particular highlighter so but just this the foundation just it didn't wow me. So those are my final thoughts on this foundation. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future product reviews, makeup tutorials, anything beauty related. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you all. And you also get a glimpse of what's coming next through Insta Stories there. So if you're ever curious about what reviews are coming, if you ever wanna interact with me, if you ever wanna go back and forth on any questions that you might have, definitely follow me on Instagram for that. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.